Hello everyone. I want to do a review on my Emporia smart plugs that I purchased about a month ago. I love these plugs. These things are awesome. They're great. In fact, I'm going to order another set of them. A couple of things that I've worked on out here in the garage is figuring out which refrigerator is going to work out best for me. I had an old refrigerator. I'm just going to plug this back in to the smart plug. I had an old refrigerator out here that was formerly in the kitchen. It is a quite a large side-by-side, -side, but it's at least 10 or 15 years old. Um, I think this one's a 26 or something. And uh, we had gotten a new refrigerator a while back, so we put this old one out into the garage just for overflow beer and wine overflow in the freezer overflow in the refrigerator and what I quickly discovered after using these plugs is this, this sucker is just running up my light bill like crazy um, I'll show you some examples on the application in a few minutes so anyway with this thing running up my bill anywhere between 20 and 30 dollars a month and summer's not even here yet I decided to make a move so I Tested out a couple of other refrigerators. The small one on the left actually goes down in my bar in the basement. And uh, that's their first, that's a small one. It's a 9.9 .9 cubic feet. And then this one here we just purchased is about an 18.1, I believe. And we've decided this is the one that we're going to keep up here. So. Um, I'm going to show you how this is actually going to pay for itself in just a matter of no time at all when we get over to the app going from that big machine that we had over there, the big refrigerator, to this one here. I'm going to put that back down in the basement, but just let me show you what a difference this smart plug made for me in determining um, how I liked it. The other thing I want to show you is that this smart plug, I actually placed four of them. Um, I'm going to purchase another four, but I placed four of them around the house strategically to try to figure out my energy costs. Okay, show you one more that I did outside on my deck. And this is just temporary. I'll have to wire it all up nicely, but I'm actually working on adding a couple solar panels and an inverter to my gazebo. So you see there, that is a $89 inverter that you can buy off of Amazon. It's wired up into some solar panel wiring. And out here on the deck, I've got two solar panels mounted up on the gazebo. My plan is to actually put two more up there. These are 180 watt panels, but realistically, by the time they go through that inverter, through the smart plug and into the house, I'm getting about 250 to 275 out of these. By the time I add the other two panels, they're, they're 100 watt panels, polys, uh, I should at least bump it up another 100. So during the peak hours of the day when the air conditioning is going, uh, I'm hoping to actually get about anywhere, probably close to 400 watts going into the house. And that would be from, say, 11 o'clock in the morning until maybe 4 or 5 in the afternoon. I'll have 400 watts going in. So I'm actually using this smart plug in the opposite direction. So what's great about these things is that I've determined that not only can you measure the flow coming out of it and figure out where your expenses in the house are, but you can also measure it going in so that I can kind of figure out from a solar uh, panel perspective um, what I'm doing. So uh, next I will we'll take you into the app and actually kind of walk through and show you what I've discovered in the last month of using these. All right, let's go ahead and talk about how to get it and uh, we'll go into the app a little bit so you can see what I've done with it. Here it is on Amazon. You can see it comes in a pack of four. And it's uh, $29.99. Now I've had mine a little over a month and I didn't pay that. When, it, when I bought them a month ago, it was, I was looking through my orders here. I paid $22.99 for them. So they've gone up in price, but they're still a fantastic bargain. The next thing I'm looking at is they also have a whole house system that you can buy with, uh, that you actually put this down inside your box in the basement. And uh, you can get one with 16 
sensors or you can get one with eight sensors so that might be my next uh, step at that but uh, let's take a look at the software so this is what I've had set up you can see I've got four plugs running uh, I've labeled them you can go in and label them yourself garage two, solar deck fish tank and office I went around and I started sticking the plugs in the wall and get them signed up uh, to Wi-Fi and everything so that I could start to check my uh, consumption and the first thing just to show you an example I was concerned about an old refrigerator that I had out in the garage and so I put started putting a plug on the garage now when you go into it I'm looking at the garage right now you can see it's running nothing right at the moment but you can see down here hour minute oop let me get back hit the wrong button garage minute and second and even on the minute you can scan through this thing and see your refrigerator cycling on and off so you could count those and at the top as you're scanning across it actually changes the time so I go here where it's running 90 watts and it tells me 1233 so then I go back here when it first kicked on at 1222 and it's 116 watts so you can go back through time and see how much is your refrigerator cycling on and how much is it cycling off and that's how I discovered uh, how much my big refrigerator was running and I'll insert a picture here that big refrigerator was horrible I was running three and a half kilowatts a day but let me show you there's the minute Here's the hour. So you can see every hour of the day it's cycling on and off. Now that burst is probably when it first cycles on. So this is 11 a.m. Uh, up until today. So that's actually two days there. But you can kind of see what it did cycling on and off. And then you can look at it from the day. Now here's where you see the dramatic change in this. These top values are my old refrigerator when I was running that. And you can see ever since I started it, as the temperatures in the spring started going up, the refrigerator started running more and more and more. Well, how much is that top line up there? I can scan across and see that it's 3.4 kilowatts per day at that top line. So what I ended up doing was hooking up my small refrigerator from the bar downstairs and you can see it dropped to 696 watts for the whole day so I mean there's a substantial savings just in power alone but what we discovered was that that refrigerator was a little too small that one's the 9.9 .9. so moving forward we ordered a new refrigerator we got it delivered you can see this bump is probably the very first day I turned it on and then it's been cycling and now it's starting to level off. So depending on how much we go into the refrigerator, I think my wife must have went into it that day. But still, if we take an average down in here, I'm trying to look through the camera at the same time. Um, well, there's a little less than one kilowatt right there, 7.8 or 0.78. So you can see this is still on a daily consumption a lot different than 3.4. I mean, it's huge. It's a substantial saving. So when I did the math on that, I figured I'm going to save between $20 and $25 a month just in the cost of that refrigerator running in my garage. And in my area, they started something called peak uh peak pricing or something where in the afternoons from 1 until 7 they're charging you a double rate so on these hot summer days that old refrigerator was even going to get worse and worse and worse so you can see paid for itself it's making up for it I can track it over time I can look at it by weeks months years days or I can look at it what is it doing right this moment I'm gonna go back to my home screen and take a look at a couple of the other plugs that I inserted just to give you an example my fish tank this plugs in the living room it's got numerous things on it it had a grow light on it it's got the fish tank on it it's got the bubblers and the heater for the tank and all that stuff and you can see right now at this moment it's running 52 watts 
come to the minutes you can see it's running consistently 52 watts and that's with the light on during the day try to see if I can get back to this morning when it there we go what's nice is that you can set this also on a timer to where you can have these plugs come on and off automatically if you want to but we get up in the morning we turn the light on the fish tank and you can kind of see we went from 12 watts during the night up to 50 watts during the day so you can tell in real time exactly what this is doing and you can see it cycling on and off during the night during the day you can look at it back here we had multiple grow lights plugged in now the thing I'm most excited about is let me tell you about my solar deck because in this particular scenario it's working in the opposite direction so you can see 224 watts is what I'm feeding into my system they're coming off the solar panels it's going through the inverter and going into my power grid so these are savings this 200 my goal is to get up to about 400 watts a day during the peak of the hours but you can kind of go back and see exactly we've got a somewhat cloudy sunny day you can kind of see the wattage here and what it's doing in real time per seconds and I want to scan to you the minutes you can also see it's 120 in the afternoon now looks like I'm getting 220 some watts out of it see it peaking valley with the shadow of the clouds when they come through but what I want to show you is the morning I've got this plug programmed to where it shuts off at night if it's a solar panel I don't need it to be working during the middle of the night so you can see during the middle of the night it's only using 0 0.006 so 6 watts of phantom power uh, no I'm sorry that's 0 0.006 watts of phantom power during the night and then I've got it kicking on at 7 a.m. it's only producing 10 watts of solar which isn't much and as the day progresses let me switch over to the hour you can see for example here is yesterday you can see how many hours of sunshine I'm getting so this is what I'm most excited about it and when I put my next two solar panels up I'll be able to analyze this even more so you can see there how much I'm generating on a daily rate some of them higher ones I actually had two panels hooked up try to catch a tall one there's two kilowatts per day coming in off the panels and that's a savings so I'm just telling you that these plugs are incredible they're awesome I'm monitoring my office is the fourth one I'll just show you that quickly um, let me go to hour you can see the consumption between when my PC and my lights and my two monitors and everything is is in standby mode or hibernation mode versus when I might turn the PC on for a couple hours and you can see the difference between that's an hour let's go to a minute 110 watts when I'm using it to 10 watts when it's in standby mode so these plugs are just fantastic get yourself a set of them um, order them use them get to know your usage and you're absolutely gonna love these things so uh, hopefully this hasn't confused too many people and I'm not getting compensated in any way for these um, but uh, my next step is to to get this bad boy here and uh, put it on my house um, I like to save some energy costs this year and especially with my electric company um, changing things around and charging me more between one and seven I I'm gonna try to uh, uh, do some things so um, that's it from here that's it on the Emporia smart plugs buy these things you'll love them you won't regret it and uh, thanks for watching and have a great day